Today, I have something very special to share with you, something new from Dossier, the brand that's known for making incredible fragrances at incredible prices. And today, they open an entirely new avenue of their fragrance game, introducing the Dossier Home Room Diffuser. Using the reeds to soak up and disperse the oil, these diffusers are sure to fill your room with the incredible fragrance Dossier has skillfully put together to create an atmosphere worthy of you and the life you lead. They come in three different categories, cozy and cocooning, warm, sweet, and gourmand, and vivid and floral. They are also available now at the Dossier site, which is linked in the description of today's video. I highly recommend you check this out, and of course, all of their awesome offerings over at their shop. Now, though, on to today's episode. Coming across my desk today is the Wax from 1821. This is one of four styling products from this lineup that I hope to give you a video on. But today we're going to focus on the Wax. We're going to put it through the paces, and I'm going to tell you up front, this one didn't quite go where I thought it would. And if you stick around for the entire video, you'll see why. Let's put five minutes on the clock. Here we go. According to the brand, this is a wax and clay based styling product that offers the texturizing fusion of that wax and clay to precisely allow detailed separation and definition of hair strands for the desired effect. Officially speaking, they say it has a high hold and low shine and it works well especially for short to medium length hair to create loose texture and both structured and unstructured styles. Price wise, we are looking at $25 US for two ounces of product. Moving over to the scent now, this has been infused with their awesome sweet tobacco fragrance. Fragrance. I happen to love this one. I've talked about it a million times here on the channel, so I'm not going to bore you with that again, but I will tell you it smells incredible. Looking inside the jar here now, though, we've got the, well, the first thing that made me stop and go, what in the Claymation Cavalier Forte series hell is this? This is not what I expected when I saw the product and read the description for sure, but in looking at the ingredient list, it does kind of make sense. It would be somewhat on the line of those other ones, and while I think it's kind of in the same universe. Looking closely at this one, I can already spot some differences. This one is not as thick. It's much smoother, like by far smoother, and it's got absolutely no tack or waxiness at all in the hand. So right now I'm concluding that it doesn't have as much to do with those clays as I initially thought based on appearances. But I'm going to be honest with you. At first, I was judging this book by its cover. I won't even lie about that. Moving straight into the demo now, though, we are going to be starting with freshly cleaned dry hair, and I'm going to be showing you the usual, exactly what I see with this product after it's applied and styled. And what I notice first is this one appears in the hair the exact way it appears in the hand. It just glides through the hair. It's so smooth. It has literally no waxiness to it at all. In fact, you can probably see on the video where it just smooths out the hair while also using that slight thickness it does have to control it, which again is why I placed it in the same arena as those other clays. But this one once again has some big differences that are really coming out in the styling results, which after some easy combing leads us to this final style. Now, now though, let's check on this same style at the end of the day. We can see for the most part, it looks the same. There's some lifting going on there for sure, but nothing major. I was more particularly interested in seeing if there was any texture or something that popped out here, but we really didn't see any of that. I didn't see much of it at all. It's just pretty much what we had in the beginning, which on one hand really isn't a bad thing. Moving over to the washout now. On this one, I consider it an easy washout based on the fact that it came out with one shampoo. I will tell you this one did not come out with just water. Those waxes and oils really wanted to just stick around, but the shampoo pulled it right out. No problem. Not a big deal for me. Time now, though, for my verdict. After putting this one through the paces, I think this one really played a trick on me. This one had me thinking it was one thing and then just completely ended up being something totally different. I think after using it and looking at it, I think it does have more in line with those thick, heavy clays than it does any wax that I've ever seen. And I just can't seem to get around that based on how it looks and feels in the hair. When compared to those other heavy clays, though, there are major differences differences that are stopping me from placing this in the same full clay category though. See this one here is for sure lighter in the overall hold. It's also not as thick and it doesn't really provide 
texture. There's also no dryness initially or later at all, and it's much smoother in the hand and the hair than any of those other ones. In fact, it even moisturizes my hands after washing it off, which is much different than, say, Cavalier or Claymation, which is much more waxy alongside the thicker consistency. My opinion, though, on this one is that it works super well. It's got some stuff that I really like, the hold, the shaping, the endurance, it's all spot on. But I also don't think it should be labeled a wax. This is a heavy clay or a clay hybrid or something of that nature. I'd even consider calling this an oil-based clay, honestly, but in the end, I guess it doesn't really matter too much what it's called because I do think it works pretty well. That, though, is my verdict on the wax from 1821, but as always, the final verdict is up to you, and if you'd like to check this out for yourself, a link and a coupon code will be in the description down below. That's all I got, though, for today's review. I hope you enjoyed checking this out with me. Make sure you do the big three for me, like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, take it easy. I'll see you next time.